What's up guys in the works and after a couple weeks off we are back with another Battlefield 3 showdown and this is going to be between two assault rifles that a lot of people have always requested the AK-74M and the SCAR-L and I actually wanted to do this one personally so it should be a pretty fun showdown today. But in last week's episode, we did two recon weapons, the M417 versus the SKS, and it was actually one of the closest showdowns we've ever had. But the M417 did get a slight edge in the comments and a little bit of an edge in the Facebook poll, so we'll give it to that. But if you want to be a part in this week's episode, be sure to vote in the Facebook poll, because I always use your feedback to pick the winner. But yes, this week we are doing two assault rifles in the AK-74M versus the SCAR-L, and the SCAR-L is actually making its third appearance in the Battlefield 3 showdown. Which is kind of surprising because the SCAR-L actually released in June, so it was part of the Close Quarters DLC weapons, so it hasn't been around a long time, but it has undergone some changes. When the game first released, it did actually have a bug where it didn't have any negative from using the heavy barrel, so they patched that, and I figured it'd be nice to revisit it to a weapon it's very similar to. So let's take a look at some of the stats here. You can see the AK-74M shoots 650 rounds per minute to the SCAR-L 620. The reload on the AK-74M is a slightly faster on the empty, but slower on the uh, full reload load than the SCAR-L. And the recoil on the AK-74M I consider it pretty low compared to the SCAR-L which I think kind of has a medium low recoil which we'll get more in depth about later in the video. But when the SCAR-L first released in the Close Quarters DLC, a lot of people, me included, thought that this was going to be the next top tier assault rifle because even though its stats don't blow you away, it really did the medium to long range engagements very well and I thought that was a unique weapon. Um, it certainly did something that we didn't see with a lot of other weapons and I thought maybe we were going to see this change from people using a lot of the fast fire rate weapons to the more accurate weapons that get bullets on target versus bullets that downrange, you know, like with the AEK, with the F2000, or even the M16 because that does shoot rather quickly. So what we have here with these two weapons, the AK-74M, the SCAR-L, are two weapons that are accurate. They are very, very accurate. They don't shoot the fastest in the world, but they can get bullets on target. And a lot of people tend to like those kind of weapons. Um, but it's a very small group, and I'm one of the groups of people that enjoy using accurate low fire rate assault rifles. I find them to be... Uh, more rewarding to, to play with. I think that once you learn how to handle the weapons, you can actually do well in a lot of situations. I think they're very, um, very, very dangerous in the right hands, especially if you have a very accurate shot. But one thing I do want to point out is even though these two have very similar recoil patterns, they're very different. Um, the SCAR-L to me seems to have more bounce. Now when it first released, it didn't have any negative effect from the heavy barrel and everybody knew that. So essentially if you attached heavy barrel on the SCAR-L, you didn't get the increased recoil, you only got the increased accuracy. And it really made this thing a laser beam, but once they patched that, it seemed to kind of bring this thing down to earth. Now heavy barrel is the only attachment I really use for these two, but I feel like if you're using a weapon that's based on accuracy, you might as well go with the attachment that's going to increase accuracy. I think that makes sense to use heavy barrel on both of these weapons. You know, even the G3, stuff like that. Weapons that may not shoot the fastest, but you're more worried about getting your rounds on the actual target. But that's where I start to see the differences between these two. They are very similar. I mean, you look at the fire rates, not many differences. The, the reloads are almost identical for the most part. Um, if you look at the pulls on the recoil, pretty much the same. But the one big difference between these two, and the reason why I kind of wanted to do this showdown, is the first shot multiplier on the SCAR-L is almost double that of the AK-74M. And that... That's a pretty big deal, because that's when you fire that first shot, your recoil is going to be much more manageable on the AK-74M. And that's why I find it to be a little bit more versatile, because there's not a lot of difference in fire rate, but it's that initial recoil that really kind of kills me. Now, if you're using heavy barrel on the SCAR-L, you'll really see what I mean. Even though you are getting that accuracy out of those first couple shots, it's a lot easier to kind of pull down on the SCAR-L and get it back within to where, you know, that range if you're going to go fully auto, if you're going to get five, six, seven bullets down range. Uh, it's a lot easier to do that with the SCAR-L than the AK-74M, but I think if you're using the 7.4M, you're firing three, four, five round burst. Um, I think that you can outshoot the SCAR-L in most scenarios. Now, I've seen a lot of people just tear up with the SCAR-L. They are surgeons with this thing. If you put it in the right hands, this thing can be deadly in all situations, you know, close quarter, medium range, long range. They can outshoot the M16, the F2000, just because it's all about getting bullets on target with these weapons. So if you consider yourself an accurate shot, these weapons are definitely for you. And these are why these low fire rate weapons tend to intrigue me. I tend to be very, very interested in weapons like this, you know, the L85, the G3, 
um, just because they seem to have a lot of upside. I mean, they do have a steep learning curve, but they are a lot of fun to use. So be sure to vote in the Facebook poll and let me know what you guys think is better, the AKSM4M or the SCAR-L. They are very similar, but you know, there's bound to be some, some opinions out there on which one you guys think is best. Um, I do appreciate your feedback because that's what makes this series go. And if you have any requests for future episodes, be sure to leave them in the comments. But if you missed any of the past showdowns, we did the M417 versus the SKS last time. And before that, we did the two top tier assault rifles, the M16 versus the M416. So check either of those out and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.